So, our last race for National Hunt on day one, week seven, is the King George V, grade one chase over three miles, so Blazer Trail for Craig Beckwith, Gibson Troop of Stu Gray, Lucky Jack for Patrick Hogan, Melia Mal for John Morgan, Mingan Landing for Daniel French, Pompey, Pompey Millennium for Vinnie Gerard, Royal Wedding for Matt Cooper, Salzello Minor for Darren Thompson, Silent Voices for Pontypool Racing, The Devas... Day tour for Joshua Sutherland, Verdi Ocean for Darren Thompson, Woodlands for Leon Van Rensburg, World Class and World Party for David Hooley, Humor Exile for John Morgan, Dragon's Cry for Leon Van Rensburg, Eskimo Star for John Morgan, Forest Jump for Stu Gray, Galway Dancing for David Robertson, Pedrick Hogan's Jean Sans Frontiers, Martin Leadham's New Year's Day, Craig Beckwith's Night Clubber, David Robertson's Nino Chica Stop, Joshua Sutherland's The Shepherd and Velvet Curtain for Martin Leadham make up a massive field here for the King George the Sixth Chase. Star has gone underway, and they're straight into the first. And they all clear it. A couple of stickier jumps. Forest jump right at the rear. So we're going to wait for these to settle down. That's a big old field to get to the ditch. The second. And all over it, slightly back this time, was Blazer Trow. So it's the Devastator that leads us. Now, why Dragons Cry, which will probably try and peck over to the fence. Then the two John Morgan newcomers, Eskimo Star and Malia Mal, and uh, Stu Gray's newcomer, Gibson Trooper, um, wide out there, it's Velvet Curtain, winner last time out, and we've got Patrick Hogan's two, Lucky Jack and Jean-Son Frontiers, with the Shepherds in there, up against the route, and just back to the remainder of the pack, the one that's gone out really wide is World Party, and then she just stops out there, as they go over the third, and all over that as well, but uh, Final pack. There's a few running really wide. Pompeii Millennium, I think, is the widest of all. There's also a newcomer for Vinnie Gerard, along with Yuma Exile. Three, four. But this is the Devastator that leads us by a couple of lengths from Dragon's Cry, Eskimo Star, and Malia Mal. Come on back to Velvet Curtain, Lucky Jack and Johnson's Frontiers. And the Shepherd. Oh, we've lost one there. Lucky Jack has shipped his jockey. I'm not sure if that was a first timer for. Pedreg, oh, a run up, but uh, won't be making it round as they go over the six. We'll clear that. Still this Devastator, by a couple of lengths from Eskimo Star, Malia Mal. Dragon's Cry, Velvet Curtain's got close up. Chanson Frontiers and the Shepherd. Then we're a couple of lengths back to the remainder, all by Lucky Jack. You can take your pick of those in that big group there. Class is just at the rear alongside World Party. And there's a grey out there, and you know, Chica stopped towards the rear. Up against the rail is Martin Leadham's other runner, New Year's Day. Just in front of that, I think, is Royal Wedding. As they get to the seventh, the leader takes it well. Cleared that comfortably. Oh, I thought we'd lost one there, but it's actually a loose horse. It's Lucky Jack. So as we come alongside the grandstand, take the eighth, which will be the last one. Oh, we've lost one there. This time it's Eskimo Star that's gone. Newcomer for John Morgan. This will be the last next time round, should I say, as they go over the ninth and go back off out for another circuit. And it's the Devastator that leads from Velvet Curtain, Marilyn Mao, and Dragon's Cry. And a length or so back to Jean Sans Frontiers, the Maiden, and then Shepherd up against the route. A couple back to Nightclubber and Woodlands, and about six deep. So they're going to take this turn, they'll try and get over a little bit closer to the route do so. We've got a loose horse in there as well. Just in front might cause a few problems. You can see Forrest jump there. As they go over the water, a big old high jump there by Dragon's Cry as he slips back into the, the pack that's chasing the chasing pack. But it's still this Devastator into the 11th takes it well. Oh, we've lost one. And it's Dragon's Cry that's gone. Made a mistake at the last. And he's out of it now. So, up front, Devastator, Velvet Curtain. Mal, your Mao and the Shepherd as they go over the ditch. The leaders are all over it. Oh, and we've lost a couple here. This time it's Woodlands and Forest Jump that both go. So we're down six. And it's this Devastator devastating the pace. I'm making plenty of these fall, but uh, they're almost in single file here. There's probably 25 lengths between first and last. Last is Pompey Millennium. First is the Devastator with Velvet Curtain a length or so back and uh, Mal, your Mao. Uh, length again to the Shepherd. Johnson's Frontiers getting a couple of little reminders there. Stay on terms. Uh, length back to Verde Ocean. And then Nightclub and Mingan Landing, not mentioned before, and Blazer Trowel as they go over the 13th. All 
clear it, including a couple of loose horses. So there's a few of these that have got to get a bit of a wiggle on as they go over the 14th. A much better jump there by Velvet Curtain. Joins the leader, the Devastator, asks for a little bit more and takes it back up again. So the Devastator from Velvet Curtain, two back to Malia Mao and the Shepherd. Then we've got Jean on the Frontiers under being hurried along now. And then we've got Nightclubber and Verde Oceans. They go over the big ditch of the 15th. The leaders are over it. Looks like they've all cleared it. And it's the Devastator that leads as they come into the final home turn. Devastator, Velvet Curtain, two or three back to the Shepherd. Then we've got Malia Mao and Jean on Frontiers under a lot of pressure as they go over the 16th. There's three to jump and it's the Devastator. Later. Leads them into the turn from Velvet Curtain in second. The Shepherd, Johnson's Frontiers, moving well now. It's Verde Ocean, Nightclubber on the outside. Malia Mao's going backwards. Blazer Trail and Nina Chica Stopper trying to close up. But it's the Devastator that's got a three length advantage from his stable mate that moves into second. The Shepherd. Then we've got Verde Ocean and Nightclubber. I think it's going to be between these four if they stay on their feet. And it's the Devastator. The Shepherd, Verde Ocean, Nightclubber, Blazer Trail. They're over the 17th. He's getting slower up front the Devastator and his teammate the Shepherd coming along with Verde Ocean and it's Verde Ocean that looks like he's got a bit more fell and a half left to run the Shepherd's shot his bowl they go over the 18th and it's the Devastator takes it better a fell and left to run and it's the Devastator over the last gets over it but on the outside his nightclub is going to reel him in there half a foul on left to run has the devastator got anything left he's holding him off nightclubber needs the line not to come and it's the devastator from nightclubber devastate hangs on from nightclubber in second verde ocean was third i think the shepherd was fourth made that really exciting at the end there not far too excited but well done to Josh Sutherland, a pillar to post win with the Devastator. Takes the King George VI chase. Nightclubber for Craig Beckwith was second. Verde Ocean for Darren Thompson was third. And the Shepherd for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And then Blazer Trail for Craig Beckwith was fifth. So that's it for the date. We'll see you all tomorrow.